So today we're going to show you how to do an ArchiCAD export to Cinema 4D and then change the ArchiCAD model and update. So we're just starting a new ArchiCAD project. Okay, here is our ArchiCAD. Going to just make sure that the work environment that I want has been set. Going to options, my pre-saved work environment, some minor changes to my screen layout. Okay, we're ready. First thing, just going to take some standard walls, rectangular mode, and draw a few walls reasonably arbitrarily at the moment, not actually typing in any settings, just using the visual guides. Deactivate or suspend the grouping, and then use the Apple or Control keys to quickly cut out some wall segments. Grab the door tool, set it to midpoint, wait for the cursor snap and then enter a couple of doors into the model. Okay, next window, again midpoint, try and put a few windows in. Now I don't like that midpoint because it's the complete segment of the wall so I'm going to change my midpoint snap to intersection mode so it will work between the two wall intersections specifically. That's the one I want. Enter that. Just a few more windows. Okay. So going to view my model in the 3D window now, and then use the O key, get into quick navigation mode, need a floor slab, so just choose the roof, spacebar click and it will trace a piece of slab. I'm going to move it vertically, grab the corner, switch to movement, snap with my shift key, vertical, change the geometry, spacebar again, trace, click the edge, change the geometry, spacebar again, trace, click the edge, change the geometry, spacebar, trace. So I've set up a quick floor slab that follows the shape of the building. With the shift key just select it, Again, choose the move function, hold shift so that it snaps vertically, and press the alt key so that it adds a little plus, and I'll get a copy of the slab. Okay, select with shift, offset, give a bit of an apron to the building. Again, select, click on the corner, offset, small overhang to my roof. Okay, we have some kind of a building. Maybe it's a military barracks, that'll do for now. Just using the O key to navigate randomly. Okay, going to save from the 3D window as a Cinema 4D file format. Don't worry about the overwriting of old files. Of course I do this often, so I'm just using the same location. Saving it with a name and a number. So in future I know where I am, save, as I say, don't worry about the replace. And now I'm going to switch to Cinema 4D. So in Cinema 4D, I'm going to say File Open. And I'm going to select the file that I've just created. I'm going to use the H key to quickly zoom extents or fit all. Cinema 4D, if you press the Alt key, you can then use your mouse to navigate left button, right button, and the scroll key all have quick navigation functions. You'll see from ArchiCAD, there is an ArchiCAD shell extension called ArchiCAD, and inside there are all the components neatly grouped from the model with the ArchiCAD environment, in other words, the light and the 
camera you'll see I'm clicking on the camera icon which takes me to the same camera angle that I was in in Archicad if I switch it off I will go to the view that I have set and there I go back to the camera angle so I can actually reference the exact camera angle from my Archicad environment okay, I'm happy with that on the bottom left are the materials that have been imported with the model now, this process between Archicad and Cinema is sensitive to the materials. So you will see if we just open up the material for all the walls. There's the wall. There's a little tag. See the little white sphere there which matches the material. So that material has been assigned to all those elements within Cinema. I'm now going to change the material. So if I click on it, you'll see that there's a material editor that appears at the bottom right and it has various functions so the ones that are activated with the tick there is color there is transparency and there is specular of course the more ticks you put in the more options there will be now there is a little brick image that has been assigned to the surface I'm just going to take that away you'll already see that that brick pattern has now gone off the walls that have been assigned and I'm just going to change the color of this brick material for our easy visual referencing. So there is the brick, red brick material that is now assigned. So in Cinema I've made a change to the settings of the material finish on my exported file. I'm just going to save it. It will refer to version 13. The current export files well, the add-on that is available still writes a version 13 file. <clears throat> okay, go back to Archicad. Let's change our model quickly. So we're going to change the geometry of the model. I'm going to use a few shortcuts. I want to draw a slab. The current height is not a floor slab height, so I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard, and you will see the Alt key will change to an eyedropper. So click on the slab and now all the settings have changed to match that slab. So I will just draw the outline of a new building's floor. Alt again, snap on the wall, all the settings will change to that wall. Use your spacebar and trace the slab shape. Alt again, get the settings of the roof slab. Use your spacebar and trace the wall shape. Alt again and grab the settings of the door and just place a door into the wall. Okay, so we have a quick little box that we've drawn. I'm going to grab with the shift process. I'm going to use offset. I'm going to go over the edges of the other floor. Okay, and create quite a horrible overlap. Now I would like to join these floors and get rid of the overlap. So I'm going to convert the two slabs to morphs. Yes and then I'm going to select the two morphs and I'm going to create a boolean function called union which will turn it into a single element great just quickly give the roof a nice little overhang as well so shift click select roof click on corner offset now I'd like to edit the floor because it's a little bit too big I'm going to try and do an offset, but you'll see it doesn't work in the same way. So what I need to do is remember that this is in fact a morph now. And there's a nice little hotel invite for me. Okay, back to the morph. Just zoom in a little bit. Use Control Shift to select that face of the morph, and then use the Morph Push and Pull function. I'll snap to the corner, make it nice and neat. Same on this side, zoom in, control shift, select that face, click. There is the push and pull function, just make it a bit smaller. I also want to make the little opening in the slab in the center. Maybe there'll be a nice little garden there, a little bit bigger. I need to actually select the face, which I can't do at this angle. So press your O key, get your quick navigation going zoom in a little bit, 
control shift, select the face, push and pull, snap to the corner of the building. Okay, O key, quick navigation, there we go. Now I'd like to just make a change to demonstrate a little bit of a complexity of the material process. So I'm going to select my roof slabs and change their material assignment. First of all, I'm going to link all the edges, so I'll do it in one go. And then I'm going to choose some poured concrete as a material. Okay, so I've changed the building geometry and the materials. Let's save another Atlantis file, oh, sorry, Cinema 4D file. Again, I'm going to overwrite, don't worry about that. The point is just save it as a different file name. I'm using a different number. And then I will switch to Cinema. There's my old file in Cinema. I'm going to use File Merge, not Open. I'm now going to point to the new exported file from my ARCHICAD. Open. It will bring up a little dialog box with a couple of questions. Would you like to import the geometry? Yes, I would, because I've got a new shape building. Would you like to import the materials? No, I will not. Because I actually want to benefit from the red material that I had set up. So, you will see some good things happen like the new geometry will arrive, the red material that I had changed, it will respect that. Unfortunately, because I did not import the materials, of course, now the roof slab, only the new element will come with the concrete. So you can just drag and drop it onto the old roof slab and solve your problem. So there you have it, import-export procedure with an update of the geometry linked to your ARCHICAD file and maintaining the material settings that you have done in Cinema. So if you remember my red brick material, there it is. Just click on it again to remind you. It uses the file name system and it all updates quite nicely. Thank you.